Hi guys, I'm Mark from Mark's Attic Toy Reviews and first of all I'd just like to apologise um, that it's been so long since I last uploaded a video. I've not been very well recently so I've not been able to get up into my attic and then when I have been well I've been starting up another YouTube channel which is my podcast channel. Uh, there's a link to that channel in the description below so check that out if you want, no kids. Um, first of all I'm just going to show you some stuff that I've got recently um, which I won't be reviewing just because it's going to stay in its box. And then I've got a few things which I will be reviewing soon and I'm really looking forward to reviewing actually because I've been after them for ages. So get the ones I won't be reviewing out of the way first. I've got the episode 1 Naboo Royal Security and Battle Droid. I think that's like the sixth Battle Droid I've got in different packets recently. So yeah, um, and I've got a Phantom Menace C-3PO without his metal plates and stuff on. I know people don't like Phantom Menace, but it's my main Star Wars collection, so yeah, I don't care what you think. And I picked this up as well, uh, Rex bought me it, it's the Elite Series Boba Fett in his prototype armour. These are die cast figures, it's the first one of these that I've actually got. I've not had a chance to get to the uh, Disney store since uh, these were released, so I was quite surprised to see this, I didn't know they were releasing it. And it's um, it was released for Star Wars Day, May the 4th, for anyone that doesn't know that. You should know, unless you, you should have your uh, geek card taken off you. And yeah, apparently, once these are sold out, that's it. They won't be coming back in, so I have to get one. And I won't be opening them for that reason, unless I can get hold of another one. If anyone wants to send me one, that'd be cool. Uh, right, and now on to the stuff which I will be reviewing. And I'll start with the smallest and work to the biggest. Uh, Rex bought the Transformers Combiner Wars Legends Class Shockwave. It's part of the uh, Bruticus line, which has just came out. So he's only a little one, but you can uh, use him as a gun for Bruticus, like that one episode of the G1 Transformers. So yeah, looking forward to reviewing him. And then another part of the Bruticus line, and the only one we could find, Onslaught. So, yeah, I've been looking forward to getting him for ages. So, Rex bought him the other day, so I've stole him for a couple of days to uh, get him reviewed. And hopefully I'll get some photos up as well. Um, I'll be starting a Facebook page soon. And if I get it done before I've edited this video, I'll put the link in the description below. And up there I'll just upload loads of videos and stuff. And it's uh, another way to keep up to date with the uh, different uploads that I'll be doing so yeah another way to keep in touch with us and then last but not least i've been looking forward to this one since i saw them released well i saw the pictures for them in a uh, toy fair at the start of the year and it's the jumbo size bebop from the teenage mutant ninja turtles out of the shadows movie i still haven't got my little one of this yet but saw the big one and had to get him so yeah i'm looking forward to reviewing him so yeah i've got that i've also got a lot of uh, star wars stuff uh, backlogged which i have recorded but i haven't finished editing because i've just got a new pc and i'm still getting used to the programs which i'm using so uh yeah just thought i'd give you a little update on what's going on and just let you know that i haven't abandoned this channel because uh, it's been a couple of weeks since i've uploaded anything so until next time, um, click the like button, um, click the subscribe button down here and subscribe to the channel. And I'll put a link here to my last video, which I uploaded. So until then, see you soon.